I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from my subscriber who is preparing for IIT J. So this question is extremely important for all the students working to get into IIT J. Right? The question here is find angle between any edge and face not containing that edge of regular tetrahedron. So what we are considering here, as shown, we have a tetrahedron OABC. The vectors OA, OB, and OC are ABC. They are all unit vectors. So what we have taken here as we are using unit vectors A, B, and C, right? So these are the unit vectors. Now, when we say find angle between any edge and face not containing that edge, it means what? Well, let's consider one of these edges. Let's say OA be the edge. So we'll find angle between the edge OA and uh, a face which does not contain. So let this be that face. Is it okay? So let this be the face which does not contain OA, correct? So we are going to find the angle between the edge OA and face OBC. Now in a tetrahedron, all the angles are 60 degrees, right? They are all equilateral triangles. So all these angles which we have, angle between a, C, A, B, they are all 60 degrees. Now, when we say angle between the edge O, A and the face O, B, C, it really means that <clears throat> the whole face, we have to check the center line going through it, which is the angle bisector at O. I mean, this line, is it okay? So the angle which we are interested in finding is between the face and this line the bisector of the angle BOC. So what is the bisector along angle BOC? Oh, well, the bisector along BOC, if you, if you extend this, I mean, I mean, if I do this kind of like that, you see the parallel line to this is here parallel line to this will be kind of like this uh, and when you extend this it will kind of meet here okay so that is basically this is B and that is C is it okay so this is parallel to C therefore this line can be treated as uh, along B plus C so the bisector along this is is along the vector b plus c now that is for unit vectors right so that is the direction so normally whenever you're finding the angle the formulas uh, we don't really bother about their length right we're always looking into their magnitude as one right so basically the question boils down to finding angle between o a and this line, let me call this as O, let me call this as, as P, for example, OP. Is that clear? And this OP is along B plus C, as you can see. You can kind of extend and figure it out that you can kind of extend this and figure it out that it is along B plus C. Now, this is very important to understand, correct? Okay. Now, the angle between AB and AC are 60 degrees. So, we know cos 60 is half, right? Okay. So, with that, let's, let's begin. So, we have cos 60 degrees is half, right? Now, what is the angle between A and B plus C? Is That is our question. Let's call this angle as theta. So, so we can say that cos theta is basically equal to the dot product of these two vectors, which is A, 
dot b plus c right divided by magnitude of a times magnitude of b plus c so that is the basic definition of dot product so cos theta is this angle correct now we could always expand the numerator and could write this as a dot b plus a dot c the magnitude of a is 1 right so and we need to find what is the magnitude of b plus c so let me first write magnitude as such and we'll try to figure out what is the magnitude of b plus c okay now <clears throat> a dot b is a b cos 60 degrees since that angle is 60 degrees a dot c is also magnitude of a times c times cos 60 so that is also half we know magnitude of a is 1 but we don't know what is b plus c so let's figure this out so magnitude of b plus c we could say square of this is equal to the dot product of uh, b plus c with b plus c correct which is b dot b plus 2 b dot b plus c dot c right so which is uh, square of this magnitude uh, b square plus twice I mean b dot c I'm sorry twice b dot c the angle between them is 60 degrees so it is twice magnitude of b times magnitude of c times cos of 60 degrees plus magnitude of c square right so that gives us that is 1 plus 2 times 1 time 1 time cos 60 is half plus plus 1 right so this gives you 1 plus 1 plus 1 as 3 so we get this magnitude as 3 units so what is b plus c magnitude b plus c magnitude will be square root of 3 correct okay? so that is what we get for b plus c and now we can fill in these values here i can write cos theta as equals to a dot b which is which is uh, uh, a b cos theta right and 60 degrees is the cos theta so it is 1 time 1 time cos of 60 degrees plus a dot c is 1 time 1 time cos of 60 degrees and the denominator we just worked out a is 1 magnitude 1 time b plus c is square root of 3 correct so that gives you cos of 60 is half so it is half plus half over square root of 3 okay so so that gives you 1 over square root of 3 right so from here we get the angle theta as equal to cos inverse of 1 over square root 3 correct so from here we get theta equals to cos inverse of 1 over square root 3 so let's use calculator to find this angle so we have shift cos inverse 1 divided by square root 3 equals 2 so it is approximately equal to 54.77 degrees right so that is the angle theta which a phase of a tetrahedron makes with the i mean the edge which makes with the face of any other tetrahedron which is not containing that particular edge correct okay? so that is how it can be done so let me thank all my subscribers and viewers for posting excellent questions and i hope their objective is met feel free to write your comments share your views and if you like and subscribe my videos that'd be great thank you and all the best